artificial intelligence that can create original ideas and even redesign its own algorithm? Let's find out. Okay, okay, okay. Artificial intelligence is a computer process that attempts to resemble human problem solving. Artificial just means human made. But the fact is, silicon based processors and our carbon based brains basically do the same thing. They take in and process data to make informed predictions about what should come next. The big difference is that AI processes much, much faster. I broke it down like this in a previous episode. Well, imagine you decide to make your grandma's famous spaghetti and meatballs. You do it once, it comes out okay. You make it a hundred times, it's way better. Now imagine you make it 100 million times. All along the way, you are learning new tricks and tweaks, all of which make your dish the best pasta ever. AI has been around for almost a century, but generative AI is a new form of artificial intelligence that, well, generates new content in ways that mimic human creativity. It draws upon massive data sets, finding patterns and relationships that allow it to predict the likelihood of what humans might create or do. Narratives, artwork, music, you name it. If your phone tries to finish your sentences when you text, that language model is a basic form of generative AI. Beyond texting, more advanced generative AI is a game changer because it's not just repeating one process to perfect one outcome, it's creating new things out of the information and instructions within its model. We know Grandma's spaghetti gets better when she makes it a million times, but what if you gathered different recipes from a thousand grandmas? If you analyzed all the recipe data and identified patterns and relationships, what ingredients are used together, how long to simmer the sauce, no doubt you can create something original, a totally new and delicious dish. Now imagine getting one million grandmas together or a trillion. The potential for new recipes from all that data is practically infinite. Our human brain would take forever to do this work. But generative AI can do it instantly. Super advanced processing speeds and colossal troves of data, aka the internet, give generative AI everything it needs. Here's what you gotta remember. Sometimes the spaghetti will actually suck. Generative AI relies on stats and patterns, not a discerning palette. So while AI might give you the perfect meatball, you may also on occasion get some soggy noodles, even worse, some poisonous pasta. And that's the rub. AI is not perfect, but neither are we. We can recognize that our own actions, biases, data set curation, and prompts become the framework for AI's future. So what can you do? Be cautious to be sure, but be curious and educate yourself to be a responsible user in this exciting new iteration of artificial intelligence. 